Hey you guys, this is Lisa. She lives in Callaway and um, she just wanted to share a few things with y'all up there in Georgia. Hi, uh, my husband was born and raised in Gainesville. He was retired Air Force from Tyndall and Eglin. Um, we stayed. Uh, I'm born and raised in Florida, so it's not my first rodeo, but we stayed. We have, um, I mean, you meet neighbors. You didn't even, we've lived here 13, 15 years now and are actually, the whole neighborhood's coming together and I'm talking to people that have lived here as long as we have, if not more, and I've never even learned their name. So there's a lot of good that has come out of it. So yes. you so you stayed here when the storm came. So yes, tell me a little did. bit about that. Uh, you know, well, what you were feeling, well, this, what happened. This neighborhood is not in an evacuation zone. Uh, a through D, A is the most important, D is the least important, D is purple. We're in a white zone. Okay. It's not even evacuation zone. This was supposed to hit on the beach. And it hit uh, between Mexico Beach. There's Mexico Beach, Tyndall Air Force Base, Callaway. Um, and that's what you're looking at. This neighborhood, um, this looks 10 times better. Um, the minute the storm was done, there were tr trucks out here with chainsaws clearing the road, people checking on each other, um, That's awesome. make sure everybody's safe during the A side of the storm, or neighbors coming out, you okay, you okay, Quit picking up debris because we knew the B side was going to be just as bad, flying shrapnel, so we were trying to lug stuff into our garage, keep it all safe. Um, you know, we're cooking on grills, we're using our solar lights in our yard as lights at night. Um, you know, we finally have water back as of yesterday, so we can actually bathe. Oh, some um, little things like that you take for granted, Yes, right? I'm hoarding water. My husband says I'm a FEMA station right now because <laughs> I'm taking all the water I can get because we have two dogs, a cat, other pets. We have plenty of water up here. We can give you hey, some more water We've taken sure. some. My husband would kill me oh, yeah, no, we need more water. <laughs> but we are, um, we're going to rebuild. There's a, th a slogan going on on Facebook. It's hashtag 850 strong. Um, my, you know, we're, we're just coming together and helping each other out. So, awesome. thank, so you thank you so, so much. much for coming in and all these, donating these supplies. Absolutely. Um, people stop taking the supplies because they feel have too much. But my husband even said, if you stop taking the supplies, they're going to wonder why they're here. You know, and they're going to, they're not going to want to keep going. And then even though we don't need those supplies, there's still going to be people in the area that need those supplies. We can put them in our vehicles and pay it forward. So, boys, do you want to say anything? Uh, say what have y'all been doing? Will you, will they you ride the storm out? Uh, I see you're playing yeah. basketball. Uh, we, our family, we were all in my mom's bedroom and our bathroom. Oh. And my brother was holding the door and that door was like shaking. Oh, wow. It was crazy. I know that was so scary. <laughs> So that's your brother? I mean, no, no that's my oh. son. They're not filthy from the storm. They're filthy from dribbling their ball in the street and okay. sweat. Well, they're having fun. Yes. So that's all that matters, right? They're playing right? Star Wars at night with lightsabers and, you know, they're, they're, they're like, being they're creative, busy. right? They had McDonald's for the first time. Wow. Oh my gosh, I had that today. How was it? Oh, it was awesome. Well, he yelled at me. He was walking by and he just said, it's goat season. Oh, what about Chick-fil-A? We need to get y'all some Chick-fil-A down here. I have two $10 gift cards. Grandma from Georgia sent him two $10 Chick-fil-A cards and the one in Callaway is not open yet. Oh, wow. But that's well, okay. Maybe we need to just buy y'all some Chick-fil-A and bring it out here. <laughs> so, what do you say? Thank you. Well, we we will be back, yes, right? Yes, thank you so and, much. Um, boys, thank you for telling your story. Tell, and tell when Do y'all know when you're going to go back to school? Uh, There's November 14th. November 12th. There's a slight secret saying. between all the children. Some of the schools, <laughs> some of the schools, they never they're care. demolished and they're going to have to do half a day. So like the we, elementary we might go in the morning, middle schoolers in the afternoon, high schoolers at night. They're wow. just not sure where they're going to put them. Okay. But, um, visitors, uh, visitors, what? Uh, <coughs> we, went, we went to my elementary school and my middle school and they're both fine. Okay. Well, teachers, right. teachers well, are offering tutoring sessions around, so yeah. kids are not being forgotten. But thank you for okay. all you do. Thank you, guys. Yeah. God bless you. We'll be back. Thank you. Alrighty. Bye, boys. Bye. Bye.